Greetings and salutations. Happy Friday to you and welcome back to Fundamental Fridays. Uh, we got a, someone reached out to us and it started out with old man and then there was a picture and it was his plastic spray booth. And then underneath the caption was, what the hell? Okay, easily explained. Anytime that you have a piece of equipment that has the plastic in it, like this spray booth does, you're, you're headed for disaster, okay? As soon as you get anything anywhere near it and you get that electrostatic charge going, what it's going to do, it's going to pick up whatever's floating in the air and it's all going to go right onto your freshly painted body. So my suggestion is this, go find the local tin knocker and get them to build you out of metal a box, okay? You can angle it down, okay? And it's not that expensive to do, guys and gals. It's that way you can have enough room that you can move it the way you want it. It's going to be high enough that you can twist and turn however you want. Now, as you well know with me, I've got to have it open. It's got to be open. I realize, of course, some of you guys and gals have limitations where, you know, you can only paint in certain areas, etc., etc. But my suggestion is get a tin knocker to make you up a booth and make it aluminum. Okay, this way you can take, dip it, wipe it all down with, uh, yeah, sorry guys. Sometimes it goes and sometimes it doesn't. Paint thinner? But, uh, yeah, help me out. Paint here. thinner? Paint thinner. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brain damage. Ain't it a beautiful thing? But the uh, this will help you tremendously. And like I said, just dip it, wipe it down with the thinner, and then blow dry it off, and then go after it. Because the thing of it is, anytime that you have this plastic, it's going to create that electrostatic charge, and whatever's floating in the air, it's going to make its way. Now, we talked about this more than a few years ago, but that's why I have all my, all my bodies are stored in uh, metal cabinets. Um, like I said, even, you know, wood, no, no way. You're going to get the same, not as bad with the plastic, but still, you're still going to get the same effect. And what you want to do, you want to go with the metal. Um, sheet metal, it's not that expensive. Like I said, you can get a guy to make it, this up for you for pennies on the dollar as compared to it. Now, if you really want to go after it, about four hundred dollars you can uh, you can buy yourself the state-of-the-art but in in the long run it uh, it definitely pays off for you I know this you know sometimes you know, money's you know a little tight but you know you're far better off putting your money into your tools and uh, in your supplies first and you can buy model cars anytime but uh, that would be my suggestion and I understand <laughs> because uh, he actually showed me a picture and uh, it was a black car but it had little white dots all over it and it was just from what's going around but you know you have to control that you have to control your paint environment and um, that plastic uh, spray booth that's just not going to do it for you because like I said that as soon as you open it up those pieces move against each other you get an electrostatic charge as soon as you start laying it down where's it going to go it's going to fly to light laying right into your paint and uh, you're not going to be a happy individual so i'm sorry these are short but hey these are the things that have been popping up we got to take care of it and um, i still got a little bit of healing up to do um, everything's going the way that it's supposed to go according to what the doctors are saying and uh, I'm still alive and kicking, gang, and I appreciate the love and the, uh, the questions. 
So until the next time, this is the old man from Lone Wolf Custom Painting along with Jake. God bless. Have a great week. And we will see you next Friday.